So the spread, also know that it's reversed for you. Um, I, I'll read them as I see them that are facing me, not you. Okay? Uh, so sometimes that's a point of confusion when you're looking down and you're like, but you said that illusion is reversed, but to you it looks like it's upright. All right, so in March, this this March that we're in right now, and we're actually in Mercury retrograde as I'm doing this reading, we have illusion reverse, so that's the devil. This is also coming up in a lot of other signs readings for the year, and it's interesting that it's coming at reverse because with the, the reversal of the illusion card, uh, it's often that we aren't capable of seeing the situation for the truth. We're not capable of seeing uh, some challenges that are right in front of our face. We're kind of, we're acting as um, the enabler in our life. So with this popping up, there's a situation that you uh, really need to reconsider and see it for its truth instead of, uh, you know, sugarcoat it or see it through rose-colored lenses. Let's see, let's add a card to this. All right, Queen of Wands, and she's in the upright. So I really feel like this, even though it's a fire sign, Queen of Wands is a Leo, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries. I do feel like it's somebody who's reaching out to you who is a fellow Leo sign or Sagittarius Aries sign, who's reaching out to help you, kind of pull you out of this rut that you're in and kind of lead you down the path of truth. So a lot of times when we do have illusion, it has to do with addiction. And when I say addiction, it doesn't necessarily have to be a drug addiction or alcohol. It could be an addiction to uh, a way of thinking or self-sabotage, you know, or, and I always say this too, is, or exercise or something that's really positive and you're just doing it too much. But the Queen of Wands sees this situation for, for what it is and wants to help you kind of break free from it. Even though you may not feel ready for it, this is an important um, step for you is to allow them to say their piece, allow them to say their truth so that when they say it, maybe it'll, it'll hit you. It'll hit you in a different way and you can kind of mull it over. But know that the situation needs to shift, especially when I see in April, we have the Ten of Swords and this is the ending, the end of a cycle. And I'm actually kind of excited for you when I see this because it needed to happen. You just weren't ready to let it happen. You weren't ready to let go. But the cycle is ending and it's for the best. Something in your life or someone in your life is leaving and it's time for them to go. Even though it will be a challenge and it could be even painful to watch it leave, this is something that has to go. It's been, it's been needing to go for a long time. And so April is a time that is finally being released. And you will have support. I mean, I love that we have two queens popping up in the upright. Queen of Pentacles here is like, I love, love, love you. Let me help you come to my home. Let me nourish you and give you a comfy blanket and we can watch movies together and mourn. You know, like this Queen of Discs, this Queen of Pentacles loves you and wants to see you succeed. And is doing so by sharing her, her castle with you. So this is a really positive situation in a time of need. And this time of need has been coming. It's not something that's new. This end of the cycle, you've been kind of able to progress and see it progress to the end. So this, even though, like I said, it could be kind of painful, it's a good thing. April, we move into May. And in May, we have the tower. So it's like, bam, 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 an illusion, ten of swords, and then the tower. So the first three, three months of this reading are intense, okay? They're very intense for you. But... You know, it has to, these things need to, it's like clearing the air, making sure that everything is where it needs to be. The tower is once again something that is ending, and I feel like it's really linked to what has already happened in March and April. And so in May, it's like 
the last little bit of it just falls apart and it finally it like goes to the ground and this is a little bit more of a shock to you than what happens in uh april because you thought you were done you were done 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 done, done. and even though you were done there were parts of it that you were still holding on to well those little ties are getting let go of okay so that like the tower is a shift the tower is a major shift and with the tower shifting just be ready to be patient and take your time and what happens next with the ace of wands reverse it's an it can be a new beginning but it's going to take time to get there it's like it's just it's not happening quite yet but you're still working on it and you should still work on it and not give up also follow those hunches even though you feel like the hunches that you have aren't progressing and aren't man manifesting at the level you want to it's still there and you're still progressing just slowly so in may don't give up don't give up when things fall apart start rebuilding keep going this is your sign this is your sign right here ace of wands in reverse don't give up it's just going to take a little extra work and the little extra work that you're going to need to do is going to continue on through June. In June, you're going to be putting the work in. You're going to be making things happen and people are going to see it. So if you're feeling lost in May and you're like, I don't want to carry on, just know in June, it's going to pay off. You're going to start seeing, uh, you know, the payout. The you're going to start seeing people acknowledge you uh, and say, "Wow, this is nice work. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next." Okay. Uh, also, the Ace of Wands in Reverse can be a relationship. So it could be for some of you guys in May that you left a relationship, you got a divorce, and you fell in love quickly with somebody else, but you can't be together yet because it's just not the right time and things aren't, you know, coalescing in the way that you want. So, you know, once again, I have the same advice for those with a relationship in May. Uh, if it's new and you feel it, just take your time, stay patient, steer the course. It's going to progress, but just slowly. And so with the three of pentacles here, it is so important for you to acknowledge that you have been creating something and that a relationship is happening because of everything that has happened. It may feel like, oh, Darn it. Like, why even bother? Why even carry on? But you should carry on and that it, it is important that you do carry on. All right. Let's see. All right. So four of pentacles. Uh, like I was saying, you need to carry on and take care of yourself. Um, you know, store some more for you. Take care of you. Uh, also, uh, the Four of Pentacles can be the miser card of, uh, you know, be careful with your finances, be careful with your worldly goods, and just keep it really calm and easy, very um, steady, okay? I do feel like with the Tower situation and the Ten of Swords over here, it wasn't necessarily as much financial as it was emotional and mental. All right, so it felt like you're, you lost your heart or like your stomach dropped out. But I don't feel like you were financially um, put into ruins. It might have been a little complicated and difficult, but it didn't ruin you. But this four of pentacles happening in June is just a reminder to keep it steady, keep everything very calm, and not become extravagant in your, in your time. All right, so in July, we have the Five of Swords, so there is a, an argument that will happen. I do feel like, once again, it's kind of linked to what has happened in the past four months, and so it's going to be an argument of, of goods. It's going to be an argument of, well, I deserve this, you deserve that. Uh, I don't think you're being honest, and it's going to be a verbal combat with another person. Let's see here. I'm going to pull another card for that. Let's see what pops up. Okay, yeah, the moon. So, like I was saying, there's a verbal conflict that's happening. And it's going to become heated and emotional. And 
uh, someone's going to say things just to push your buttons, Leo. They're just going to try to push your buttons over and over and over again uh, and, and just, you know, stick it to you. And so don't lose your cool, Leo. Don't lose your cool in July. Uh, you know, if you even need to, walk away. Walk away from the situation because that's what they're trying to do is get you to, to make the lion roar out of anger. And so then you lash out, you act out, and you regret what has happened. So don't let that happen. Be in control of your emotions and of your words and be clear and concise about what you need to say, but don't overstep your bounds and let it become an emotional battle. It won't serve your purpose. In August, we have the star. So hello, things are starting to turn around in August. What you want will come true. What you need is there. You have it all at your fingertips. All you have to do is put in just a wee bit of effort and um, ask the universe to provide. So this is quite the respite for <laughs> after what has happened, you know, the first few months. It's going to be a month that is... Um, uh, there to remind you that you are needed and welcome in this universe and that you are you are definitely loved all right so the two of pentacles reversed i actually think because of the star happening it is going to throw you out of balance because you didn't expect this happiness to happen you didn't expect this goodness to happen in in august you know you're gonna be like wait what? I have been going through such a crap storm for the last few months. How is this? How is this happening? How am I gaining this this joy? Uh, so it is going to throw you for a loop and it's going to throw you for kind of a, it's not going to put you into a tailspin, but you're going to be shocked. And that's, you know, process that process. Why is this happiness, this joy throwing you for a loop? It's because you just went through some, some possibly traumatic things. Um, but after that, man, look at universe is going to take care of you. And then we have temperance right after that, finding balance, beauty, and uh, also, um, you know, wealth, uh, you know, spiritual wealth. Temperance is ruled by Sagittarius. It's expanding whatever you give it, you know, so making sure that you balance what you need and want. Because um, temperance can provide it all for you. Okay, so then we have the King of Wands in reverse. And so this is going to be uh, the test of expansion. Because the King of Wands in reverse, and in this one, in, in this situation, for a lot of you, this is you. You are in the reverse here, Leo. And the reason why you're in the, the reverse is you're not accepting this gift that has been given to you by the universe. You know, you're saying, I can do it myself. People aren't paying attention to me like I want. I've been through so much. I don't believe it, you know. And and so you're, you're kind of, you know, looking at gift horse in the mouth kind of situation. You know, you're um, so just... Uh, Remember to stay humble, Leo. It's hard. I know that that can be. Um, it's hard. It's hard to stay humble because you just went through so much, uh, and then all of a sudden you're getting all of this this luck and love. Uh, but to stay grateful, not humble. To stay grateful, uh, you know, and that will turn you in the upright. Is when you go, yes, okay, thank you so much for this opportunity. You know, I do deserve it, and I have been working really hard for it, and I have, you know, had some challenges and, <laughs> along the way, but look at here I am. So um, in September, really find your balance. Really ask universe what you want and then expand it. October is a month, um, seven of wands reversed, October. Um there's no reason to fight what's happening, okay? It's gonna, it's okay. Let it lie. So I do feel like there's gonna be some little tidbits, some little minor tips with friends and family. Not worth your time, not worth your energy. Focus on your prize, focus on what you want, focus on the people you want in your life, and uh, let the rest go. Oh, look at that five of wands. Yeah, because you got bigger, you got 
Um, it's the seven of wands and then the five of wands. <laughs> okay. October is conflict, 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 and you're going to have to pick your battles, okay? So some of them are not going to be worth your time, and the other ones you are going to have to stand up for. Bummer! I was hoping that it would be, like, this beautiful little peaceful card of, like, Buddha-esque, like, mm, I'm not fighting, and look at it, it's all coming together. But you, the reason why you have the Seven of Wands in reverse um, here, and then you have the Five of Wands upright, is pick your battles, choose your battles. Which ones do you want to stand up for? Not You can't do them all. All right, so then uh, November. November, we have the Magician upright, which is lovely, saying that you wield all the tools, you have all the power, and choose wisely how you're going to use it. November, you're going to be given opportunities to lead. You're going to give be given opportunities to prove yourself as as a master. Um, so make sure that what you show them and what you give is of substance, of great substance of self and of community. Ah! Ten of Pentacles, Leo, lovely. All right, so once you show your power, look at this. Ten of Pentacles upright. You are you're gonna sit. You're gonna be sitting pretty. This is a great month for you. So November is like put a big star around that. Make things happen then, uh, because it's just nothing but positive. Magician energy is feeling on top of your game, being on top of your game, and because of it, you're going to really gain growth in your life. So in December, we have the Seven of Swords, and this is kind of a shift from this happy, lovely November. In December, somebody's going to try to take something from you, all right? It's going to be kind of this this feeling of... Um, Hey, I just got I just got to this lovely place, and then in December somebody's going to you know um, be a sneaky Pete and try to take something of yours. Um, and it ha I think it has to do with this lovely opportunity that you got to show yourself. So in some regards, I think it's going to be a colleague who tries to take credit for what you do, or a work uh, associate who tries to take a project that you've done and take credit for whatever it is that you did with family i think it could also be in family like you know you made an amazing thanksgiving dinner and then you know your cousin says well i actually did the turkey which is a bunch of malarkey you know something like that where it's just they're trying to take all of it they're going to try to take it all for themselves okay and then here we have uh, the guide, uh, which is the hermit card, and it's in reverse. So this is not the time to sulk. This is not the time to go within and just kind of, uh, you know, go into a woe is me situation. It's actually a time to be vocal about what is happening and tell them how you feel and say, that's not right. No, it's not okay for you to do that. I did that. I, I am the person who put in the blood, sweat, and tears, not you. Stand up for yourself. The guide is is in reverse, so it's like, speak out, speak out, speak your mind, speak your heart. And then we have the Knight of Wands happening in January. So some, some message is coming in in January, and it's coming in quick. It's another fire sign. Like, you have a lot of your energy showing up this year. Uh, fire sign, so Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, um, coming in with a message. And it is linked to this sneaky Pete. So I think you're going to find out who said that, who did it. If not in December, definitely in January. And you're going to get to find the culprit of, you know, somebody who's trying to steal your joy. Um all right, so, and the person who's trying to steal your joy is, is uh, my first instinct is a Cancer. So it could be a Cancer, uh, Aquarius, or Pisces, since this is a uh, water sign. 
Uh, some of you, it's a Scorpio, too. With the Page of Cups reversed, it's somebody who is possibly younger than you, but jealous and doesn't want you to succeed because they just don't, they, you know, if they can't have you, no one can kind of attitude. So I actually think that it's an ex for some of you guys uh, who, who feels slighted by you and feels wronged and, like, um, that, you know, like Leo, you could have kind of ghosted someone or you could have just kind of left them hanging and they're, they're pissed now. <laughs> it's kind of like that or, or an associate who you're like, yeah, yeah, we'll do a project together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you never call them and, you know, ask them to help. Um, and then you go on and do an awesome project without them. And, and so they feel slighted, you know, they feel slighted by you leaving them out and not making them a part of your cool group, okay? And you're going to find this out through another fellow um, fire sign. So let's see. That's February, isn't it? Let me see. Where are we? Yep, so February. February, oh, it's February is a... Uh, month of love for you two of cups finding union finding connection if you are not already connected you will be by the end of february that's for sure let's see okay so the page of swords in reverse watch who you pick if you aren't together with someone because the page of swords in reverse is a um an air sign that's going to be aquarius uh, Libra or Gemini, but they're in the reverse, so they're not in their highest level. They're not in their highest um, emotion, spirit. They and so there, there is an attraction there, but be careful about what the attraction is, because I don't think they're telling you the whole truth. They're, they're kind of um, giving you a lot of half truths. To win you over and it's working because they are pretty amazing people but they're also not not being honest with you all right um, and I don't want you to find that out you know two two years down the road when uh, like it all comes out that they, they just kind of fibbed about who they were at the beginning um, so be uh, take it slow Okay, because I know you're going to be attracted to them right off the bat. Or, um, you know, if you are partnered up, then your partner is going to be acting kind of like this, the Page of Swords. They're going to be kind of telling you half-truths just to, uh, you know, um, smooth things over, make things easy for you. Okay, so be careful with that. Okay, so then we go on to March. March is the Six of Wands reverse. This could be you have been, you know, wanting a new job or you've been creating a new project uh, and it just falls through. Six of Wands is, uh, you didn't get what you wanted, okay? Yeah, you, you really worked hard for it. It was a great idea, but it just didn't pan out. Uh, six of Wands reverses, like thinking you're going to get a victory and then you lose. All right. We can't win them all. All right. And then we have the Lovers reverse. Okay. So this could also be a breakup. This could be a breakup from, you know, this Page of Swords, which I'd actually be really happy about because that would mean that this relationship didn't go that long. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, the, with the Lovers reverse, it's just a breakup. It's a disconnect from somebody else from you know um, from somebody who you cared about somebody who you loved but it's just not it's not working it's not gelling it's not jiving so if you if you um start to get a hint about something not right in you know january february enjoy the happy moments but don't be surprised if it falls apart by march okay and then April, we have the Knight of Swords reverse. So this is a message coming in, and it's something you don't want to hear. Knight of Swords is an air sign, so that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And they're saying something that is not true. 
It's not true, but they're trying to make it sound true. So I feel like it's somebody trying to gossip either about your ex or about you or about some situation that is causing you a little bit of turmoil. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, Pentacles, I'm sorry. Uh, Page of Discs, Pentacles, uh, reversed. So again, this is another person. It's like you can't get a, a straight word. You can't get a straight story um, through anyone because everyone's kind of going around the bush, beating around the bush and going, mm, well, what I heard was, you know, and just not telling you what truly is going on. Uh, so in that situation, you know, ask them for the truth, listen to what they say, but then follow, follow, <laughs> follow yourself to the facts, man, you know, <laughs> follow yourself to what you know to be true, and don't listen to the hogwash that other people are saying. Now, just to give you some place to kind of uh, come back to through the, through the year, um, I'm going to pull a card from Noah Nafu, the visionary cards, and just to give you a, a point of direction, no matter what is happening, happening, happening with happiness or, or sadness, joy, with depression, you can always come back to this card and remind you of where you need to go. All right, ah, freedom. So that's a perfect card for you, Leo. You have the freedom to choose. You have the freedom to move on from someone. You have the freedom to stay with them. It is your choice. Your life is your choice. And you can fly. You can fly as far as you like, and you can stay as close as you like. It is truly up to you. Make sure that you keep your wings strong, but make sure that you have a place to land as well. It is so important for you you to take care of your actual self in order to fly, in order to help others, in order to create a true nest for you to be in. You have the freedom. You have the freedom to be you. Stand in that. Stand strong. 